Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Highland Park for a Varsity Boys baseball game. Please welcome our visitors, the Colonels from Covenant Catholic High School and your Highlands Bluebirds. Covenant Catholic checks in today's game with a record of three wins and zero losses, their last being a 10 to nothing decision over the Rebels from Boone County High. Today's starting lineup for the Colonels leading off, playing center field, number three, Charlie Deeruff. In the two-hole is the left fielder, number five, Vince DiTomaso. Batting third for Covenant Catholic, the shortstop, number two, Jackson Reardon. In the cleanup spot, the third baseman, number one, Marcus Sawinski. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, number 38, Parker McKinley. He'll be DHing for today's starting pitcher, Number nine, Eli Wagner on the mound for the Colonels. Batting six, the right fielder. Number 14, Ben McAvoy. In the seven hole is the first baseman. Number 21, Luke Peeper. Batting eighth for the Colonels and behind the plate. Number 15, George Unkraut. And rounding out the lineup for the Colonels at second base. Number 19, Brian Finke. The head coach, Mr. Bill Crumpleback. Assisted by Mr. Jared Moore, Mr. John Michaels, Mr. Mark Bogenschutz, Steve Rui, Jack Clyer, Nate Zembrot, and a host of others. And now the starting lineup for the home team, Bluebirds. The Bluebirds come in today's game with a record of two wins and one loss. A 13-6 decision on Tuesday over the Tigers from Beachwood. Here's the Birds starting lineup. Leading off the designated hitter, number 11, Callum McAtee. Batting second at shortstop, number 10, Adam Fortin. In the three-hole and behind the plate, number 18, Drew Barth. In the cleanup spot, the third baseman, number 16, Brody Benke. Batting fifth for the Birds, the first baseman, number 32, Luke Schneider. In the six-hole is the right fielder, number 33, Zach De Silva. Batting seventh for the Birds, out in left field, number 25, Cameron Bottom, batting eighth, the second baseman, number eight, Zach Bracken. And rounding out the batting lineup for the Birds, the center fielder, number three, Nolan Schwabach. On the mound today for the Birds is the senior right-hander, Xander Crawford. The head coach, Mr. Jeremy Bionis, assisted by Mr. Tom Eckerly, Mr. Andy Raker, and Mr. Austin Bryant. Our officials for today's game behind the plate, Mr. Don Chez Martin, and out on the bases, Mr. Greg Wheeland. This game will be streamed live on our YouTube channel, HHS Film and Broadcast, and Junior Brennan Buker will have the play by play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to FT Film and Broadcast YouTube page for live baseball action as we are set to broadcast the Highlands Bluebirds as they take on the Covington Catholic Colonels as they arrive in from Park Hills. And we are set to get this one underway. Today on the mound for the Colonels, a familiar face in the world of Highlands baseball, Eli Wagner back on the bump. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it is because he is the same pitcher that faced the Bluebirds in the Birds' 10-1 loss against the Colonels last Saturday. He went four complete, giving up one hit, one earned run, only walked one and struck out seven. He's got a lively fastball, and that was one of the biggest things that Coach Bione talked about beginning of this game. He's going to try to make you swing. He's going to put balls in the zone. And the biggest key, he's got a lot of movement. And it's not the velocity-wise, not the fastest fastball they'll see, but it's got a lot of movement on it. It's going to come inside to a righty. 
and that's big because that's going to try to saw you off, and that happened a lot to the Bluebirds. Lively fastball, not a ton of velocity, and a lot of strikes thrown. Highlands walked quite a few in that game. So now the now the key for Highlands, and especially what was said pregame, was attack the fastball. Now looking on the other side, Covenant Catholic, not much of a surprise here. They are going to be rocking with the same starting nine with Charlie Deereth starting uh, in center field, batting first. He went deep twice. Two long balls, one of which was a grand slam against the Bluebirds pitching staff. Vince Di Tommaso is in left field. His line last game, he no hit, struck out three times. The Birds had his number, but he's fast, and when he gets on base, we saw he was moving after his first inning walk. Next was Jackson Reardon, the University of Cincinnati commit. He is also very fast. In the fifth inning, he turned a single into a double, and in the third inning, he had a single and then advanced on a stolen base. After that is Marcus Swinski. He is playing at the hot corner today, struck out twice, but when he did put the ball in play, it was right up the middle, and he was on time with the Bluebirds pitching. Next is, num is number 38, Parker McKinley at the DH position. He is DHing for Eli Wagner. McKinley would ground out 6-3 in the second inning, get a single, and would not do much after that. Then at the plate is Ben McAvoy, the right fielder. He grounded out a couple of times, got hit by a pitch, and took first on a single. George Uncrout is back behind the plate, and he is batting eighth with Brian Finke batting ninth. Finke had a single that he later stretched into a double, and Uncrout was hit, walked twice, and struck out once. Speed is the name of the game for the Covenant Catholic Colonels. They can get on and they can manufacture runs just about as good as anyone in the business. Now the teams take the field. Highlands goes on defense. So let's take a look at the Highlands outfield first. Things first today. Number 25, Cam Bottoms in left field, and he is one of my players to watch today. He has a cannon of an arm that's coming in from that left field spot. And he can really do damage on runners trying to go. And that's huge today as Covenant Catholic, I fully expect to try to take some extra bases. On the mound today is Xander Crawford, the senior. And the biggest key that I heard from Coach Bione before this one started was just throw strikes. This team's going to swing. And Highland's biggest problem was they walked quite a few batters in the game. So, Avoiding that and being able uh, to you know, not give up those free passes because they were not scoring a ton when it came to base hits. It was a lot of walks. And the second pitcher of the day for Highlands did not give up a base hit because he walked four consecutive batters trying to avoid a situation like that again today. Home plate umpire Don Sanchez, Donche Martin, excuse me, will call out two pitches to go, and we are getting ready to get things underway. And at Highland Park. On the mound today for the Bluebirds, senior writing Xander Crawford, set to lead off the ball game for the Colonels. The center field. Charlie Deereth comes up to the dish to start things off for Covenant Catholic. Crawford is number six, and he is starting. Looks like he's going to go from the full lineup as we begin things here. Deereth, the center fielder, digs in, goes first pitch swinging. First pitch off speed. That's a great selection to fool the hitter. And in the Highlands dugout, there is a new chart that pitchers are – Marking off, and the second pitch hit Deereth. And Charlie Deereth is the first base runner of this one. But talking about quality pitches, you get an, trying to get as many quality strikes as you can on your line. And Di Tommaso, the left fielder, now digs in. That's... 
exactly what Highlands was trying to avoid when they mentioned not giving up the free passes. Di Tommaso did not get a base hit, though, did get on by the base on balls in the game on Saturday. Takes the first pitch as a ball, and it'll be 1 0. Governor Catholic coming off a six inning, 10 0 win against the Rebels of Boone County. Back pick down to Derrick at first. Nothing comes of it. Coming to Catholic in their new black uniforms with black pants. Similar to their football uniforms. If you've ever seen their black on black football uniforms, Highlands in their classic home whites. Crawford now delivers. Tommaso shows bunt, but 2 1 is the count. Govcath loves to play the small ball game. We've seen that happen multiple times. The butt again. That was back. Looked like it hit Barth. He seems to be all right. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody away as Vince Di Tommaso, the left fielder at the plate. Crawford looks back at the runner. Now comes set. Fires the pitch, swing, and a miss. They'll say he went. And I Tommaso gets sat down on strikes. And coming up next is the University of Cincinnati commit, Jackson Reardon, playing shortstop for the Colonels today. Reardon is tied for the team lead and hits with three this year, batting 506 at bats. He's got a double on his line. Now the pitch, downstairs, ball gets behind Barth, and Deeriff will take it with ease. one is the count after the pitch goes behind Barth. Xander Crawford back on the bump. Crawford this year has been in one game. Next one down and away, called a ball. Been in one game, went one and a third. Gave up one run. Walked three, struck out two in 29 pitches of work. That was on opening day. The pitch. Looked closed right at the letters. Won't go. Now the count is 3-0. and Charlie Deereth on second, getting a healthy secondary lead. Covington Catholic likes to try to manufacture runs over consistently. It wouldn't shock me to see them try to steal third here in the 3-0 count. Deereth, and he does go. Pitch is in there. Throw down. Won't go. Ball goes into the outfield. And Deeriff goes home, bottom with a throw to the plate, not in time. Bottom had a good throw, but Deeriff swipes third on the stolen base and gets home. Official ruling from the press box is an E2. It was a strike, though, so it is a 3-1 and one count. The next pitch is upstairs, and Jackson Reardon gets first base. That knocks his first base on balls of the year. And now coming up to the plate is Marcus Swinski. Two hits in six at-bats this year with a walk. He's one for two on stolen bases this year. Coming Catholic early into the season already has 17 stolen base attempts. And as another back pick attempt by the Bluebirds, they're definitely in the head of Highlands early into this one. Especially as you get farther down the lineup, that's where the Colonels like to do it. Another throw over, and the throw over gets dangerous. Oh, count. Still hasn't given a pitch to Swinsky yet. Here's the first one. Called a ball, looked close. Dante Martin behind the plate, Greg Whelan in the field. 
for our umpires. The pitch. Right there for a strike. Swinsky looked like he tried to sell that as a as a ball, but across the plate, called a strike. One one is the count. Runner goes. Swinsky skies one deep into right field, but it's very far and very foul. Making it a one two count for the junior, a third baseman, Marcus Swinsky. Crawford on the mound. One ball, two strikes. Reared and went on the last pitch and throw over by Crawford. One ball, two strikes, one away in the inning. Swing. Did he go? He did. Swinski sat down on strikes the same way Di Tomasio was on a check swing that they said he went around on. And now Parker McKinley comes to the dish. Two for five this year, 400 batter. No extra base hits to his credit, no walks. He has struck out twice, and the throw over gets away. Taking second with ease is Jackson Reardon. And that's the danger of continuously throwing over. The runners are now definitely on the mind of the Highlands Bluebirds as Reardon moves into scoring position. But they've already shown a willingness to take third as well. Crawford. Looks at the plate, two away in the inning. Throws home, balls outside to Parker McKinley. He was also the DH against Highlands for Wagner. Where he was first at bat in the second inning. He grounded out 6-3, then hit a base hit, struck out looking. Ball goes home, Barth can't get total control of it. And McKinley, or excuse me, Reardon will swipe third on the stolen base. Two zero count. Here's the delivery. Downstairs. Three balls, no strikes. Two away in the inning. Cupcath already scored one. Rio count. Here's the pitch. Right there. McKinley stepped out. He wasn't even going to think about swinging at that one. Three balls, one strike. The pitch from Crawford, and it's downstairs. Ball four. Parker McKinley takes the free pass. That is the third free pass that Crawford has issued. Deeriff was hit. Reardon was walked. Reardon resides at third base. McKinley at first. Runners on the corners with two away. 1-0 is your score. Ben McAvoy, the right fielder, comes to the dish. Got one hit yet to walk or attempt a stolen base this year. One of the few players on the Covenant Catholic squad with no attempts even for a stolen base. That's how much they try to manufacture runs. McAvoy tried to check his swing, but ball gets fouled straight back. Right off the knob of the bat off the check swing. Back pick, won't go. 0 1 is the count. Parker McKinley on first. Next pitch is swung on and missed in the dirt by McAvoy. And now the count is 0 and 2 with two away. Wouldn't be surprised to see Parker McKinley in motion here. 
0-2 count, two away in the inning, and a runner already on third. Balls away, and he already got third, second, as I expected. Delayed steal from McKinley takes second. One ball, two strikes, two away. Crawford from the stretch, looks home. Nobody holding either runner on. The pitch, downstairs off the plate. Runner goes home, and with ease, Jackson Reardon will score on the pass ball. Wild pitch. And McKinley takes third on the wild pitch as well. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on third. Now 2-0, the Colonels have the lead. McAvoy at the plate. Here's the pitch. Swung on and chopped over at Banky. Throws over to first. Schneider's got it. And that'll end the inning. Highland surrenders two runs. No hits. I'll be back live shortly on FT Film and Broadcast. And we're into the bottom of the first on FT Film and Broadcast as Callum McAtee comes to the plate. <coughs> Callum McAtee committed to Transylvania University. Going to join his brother, Camden, who played Highlands baseball a few years back. He digs in. Eli Wagner on the mound. We were discussing that he does not throw the hardest, but his fastball moves, and we talked about that pregame, almost a 2,200 spin rate, only his low to mid-80s, which Highlands has seen faster and hit faster. So McAtee fouls the next one back. Throws a lot of strikes, doesn't walk many. That can be said about the entire Covenant Catholic pitching staff. They've only walked three batters this year to the 18 strikeouts that they have. Wagner did not give up a hit in his last appearance. 2-1 is the count. Wagner from the full delivers, and McAtee fouls it back, and that makes it 2-2. Two and two. Wagner also mixes up his looks as well, features a Curve ball and a changeup. That appeared to be the changeup as it's grounded right towards Swinsky. He fires it over to first. McAtee made it close. But a strong throw from Marcus Swinsky and Greg Whelan out call. 
will result in McAtee falling 5-3. Next up to the plate is number 10, Adam Fortin. He digs in as Wagner moves quick, ready to go. Fires in a pitch. Interesting, Wagner is a pitcher who is a in favor of the pitch clock. I can tell you that because he moves quick. There's no moving around. He gets right up to the mound as Fortin fouls the 0-1 fastball backwards. And it's 0-2. But there is no waiting in between pitches primarily for Wagner. He gets right up to the mound. He likes to deal. He's quick. Does it in the bullpen. Does it out on the field. 0-2. Swung on and fouled backwards by Forden, remaining in an 0-2 count. Forden, only one hit so far this year. He made solid contact a few times. Been out, continued to back second. That one's skied in the right field. Will it drop? It will not. Brian Finke makes the play. Called an F4. And this is what I was talking about, about Eli Wagner as number 18, Drew Barth comes up to the plate. The rear F4 gets marked in the book. In the book. Drew Barth digs in, but there's a lot of strikes. The pitch count's going to be low from Eli Wagner today. Oh, oh count. 1-0 count, excuse me. Two away in the inning. Next pitch is close. Called a ball. Islands also hasn't been seeing walks incredibly well. The leader is Zach De Silva with four. As Barth takes a big hack at that one. Cub Cat as a team has eight, but their pitching staff, again, as I mentioned, only allowing three. The 2 1. Skied into left field, put a charge into it. Di Tomasio going backwards, makes a nice stumbling grab, and that'll do it for the inning. Birds go down in order. Di Tommaso is the final mark in the Bluebirds. Bottom of the first. Coming to Catholic still has the 2-0 lead over Highlands. Luke Peeper digs, digs in, as said by our public address announcer at Highland Park, Kevin Neoporti. And we're ready to get the top half, half of the second inning started as the first pitch is called a ball. Peeper, the seven-hole batter for Covenant Catholic as he takes a big swing and a miss at the 1-0 fastball, making it 1-1. One and one. Covenant Catholic took advantage of Highland's woes in the first inning. 
hit by pitch, a walk that both resulted in runs for the Colonels. Crawford, swing and a miss. It looked like a good changeup. Spotted perfectly on the bottom half and away part of the zone. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Big strikeout for Xander Crawford as Luke Peeper gets sat down on strikes. And now coming to the plate, the catcher number 15, George Unkraut. There's a lot of power with Unkraut. He digs in. First pitch is in there, called strike. The next pitch, 0-1, swing on and miss downstairs. Great pitch. Crawford really working the zone now. Here's the 0-2, down and away. Good waste pitch. You get him swinging, it's great. Near 90 mile an hour exit velocity from uncrowd at the plate. If he can get a hold of one, he really can do work. And pop time in the low twos as well. He's a good player from behind the plate. Curveball goes inside. I, not, I noticed or I mentioned earlier in the broadcast about the, the quality pitching chart. And an, on a negative knock on it is starting 0-2 and then working a walk and really running that pitch count up as Uncrowd skies one deep into left field. It's foul. Really trying to keep pitch count low. Three balls, two strikes, one away for the catcher. Crawford kicks, deals. Fastball look good. It is good. Called strike three in a big time backwards K. Now there's two away and a chance to get out of this one. One, two, three as Brian Finke comes up to the dish. Oh, oh, first pitch fastball upstairs. One ball, no strikes. The delivery from Crawford in there. Looked good. Is good. Thought it was called a the ball, it was not. 1-1. One, one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit the dirt downstairs. On number 19, Brian Finke. Here's the pitch. Close. Not called a strike. Here's the pitch, swung on, hit into right center field. It's in the gap. De Silva going chase. Schwabach couldn't get to it. De Silva throws it in, and Finke in with a 3-1 double. And that is the first hit surrendered by Xander Crawford today. Now here's Charlie Deeriff who was hit and then later scored in his last at-bat. Two away, though, a chance to get out of it with no damage done. Charlie Deeriff digs in and watch the first one go by. He's a great pitcher as well. That's really where some of his talent shines with hitting in the low 90s. 2,300 near the spin rate on his fastball. From the dish, he can reach into the mid-90s with the exit velocity. As the ball goes downstairs, now 2-0. Good hand speed as well. Crawford steps off.
2-0, two away. He also got a very good rotational acceleration on the bat, and that's a great pitch changeup downstairs. <laughs> Two balls, one strike, two away. Still on second base is Brian Finke. The leadoff batter. 2-1. Big swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes, two away. Crawford steps off the mound, looks back. Finke. Crawford now from the stretch. Finky takes steps off, works at secondary, won't go. Now ropes one up the middle of the field. Base hit. Finky goes home. And he's out at the plate. Nolan Schwalbach throwing a dart home. And Deeriff's double will not result in an RBI. Finky caught out. Nolan Schwabach with a great throw. We go to the bottom of the second. Highlands with some momentum on their side. And we're back live on FT Film and Broadcast with live baseball action as the first pitch from Eli Wagner is low, but in for a strike, the 0-1. Inside won't go. 1-1 one one is the count now. Banky digs in. 500 batter this season. Fouled back. One ball, two strikes on Brody Banky. Next pitch is chopped over to Swinsky's. Tough play, tried to barehand it, won't go. Brody Banky gets the infield single. And Luke Schneider will now come to the plate. Number 32. Comes in for, her, for his first at-bat of the day. He digs in. First pitch is close, called a ball. Schneider was hitless Saturday against the Colonels. Banky gets a... Short lead off first. The lefty looks him back, now goes home, upstairs, and now it's 2-0. Oh. Birds could... Two balls, no strikes. 
2-0, chance for a good pitch to hit, and he expected one and went hacking. Looked in his wheelhouse, too. Little low, little in. Two balls, one strike, nobody out with Zach Da Silva on deck. Back pick, Banky is safe. Throw over to Luke Peeper, who's playing first base today. Wagner comes set, fires at the plate. Looked like a curveball. Didn't break hard enough and stayed in the zone as a ball. Look close, call the ball. Three balls, one strike. Schneider takes a couple steps of a lead off first, or Banky takes a few steps of a lead off first. Schneider's at the plate. And now it's 3-2 for the first baseman. I'd say a fastball here. Banky stays at first, and a fastball's there. Swing and a miss by Luke Schneider. One away. As coming to the plate, number 33, Zach Da Silva. He's playing right field today. Da Silva leads the Highlands Bluebirds in walks this season. One away. Watches the first one go by. Banky extending his secondary lead on first. One ball, no strikes. The southpaw fires home, and it skides straight up into the air. Unkraut looking for it, but it's out of play. One ball, one strike, one away. Kicks, fires. It's in there. De Silva checked his swing. One ball, two strikes, one away. Kicks and fires. Banky goes for second. Throw down. Not in time. Uncrowd's got a good pop time, but Banky was able to beat the throw out. Zach De Silva at the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two away. One away, excuse me. 2-0 is the score. Wagner steps back on. Now comes set. Kicks and fires. De Silva checked his swing. They'll say he held, and they'll say it was a ball. Full count. It's a big pitch here. De Silva's got a keen eye at the plate. Three balls, two strikes. He cranks one deep into left field. Di Tomasio right underneath of it. Can of corn, reels it in. And it's an F7 in the book. As number 25, Cam Bottom, comes to the dish for Highlands. He's playing left field today. He digs in this season. He has no hits, but does have an RBI to his credit. As he watches the first one go by. 0-1 is the count. Excuse me, it was called a ball. 1-0, looked good. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Big cut from Cam Bottom. Runner in scoring position for Highlands. It's Brody Banky at second. Wagner comes set. Fires to the plate. Pitch looked good. Called us ball. Now two balls, one strike, two away. Zach Bracken on deck. Nolan Schwabach behind him. And then it's back to the top of the lineup for Highlands. The next pitch. Called a strike. Bottom thought it was inside. And now he digs back in. Two balls, two strikes, two away. Banky on second. He'll at least extend the secondary, if not maybe take off for third. And swing and a miss from bottom. And that'll do it for the Highlands side of the second. Wagner makes the Banky leadoff single mean nothing.
as Highlands goes down in four batters. Coming to Catholic is coming to bat. And we're back live on FT Film and Broadcast, bringing you live baseball action as we head into the top third. This one moving right along. Vince Tommaso coming to the plate. Wisely gets out of the way of the first pitch. 1-0 is the count. Barth can't hold on to the strike, but it will be knocked up to make it a 1-1 count. Nobody away. Cupcalf has the 2-0 lead. Tried to make it 3-0 at the end of the top of the or top of the second after Deer laced the double into the right center field gap, but Nolan Schwabach was able to throw it in and get Finky trying to come home. Big swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit high. Barth in pursuit. And he makes the catch. Impressive snow cone grab from Drew Barth. And in foul ground, the rare F2 marked in the book. And Jackson Reardon. He would walk later score after stealing third in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Downstairs, good swing and a miss generated from Crawford's. 0-1, one away. From the full, Crawford kicks. Fires in, look like a curveball. Right at the knees, 0-2. Crawford quickly back on the mound. And now kicks and delivers. Downstairs, like he yanked whatever pitch he was trying to throw. One, two. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hit down the third baseline. And hit back into play. Banky will throw it away. The infield for the Highlands Bluebirds has Banky at third, Fortin at short, Zach Bracken at second, and Luke Schneider at first, Crawford obviously on the mound, and Drew Barth behind the plate. Crawford kicks and fires. Swung on and hit hard. Line drive right at Brody Banky. No problem. He snags it away. And very similar to last inning. The first two batters retired in order. Line out to the five spot is Marcus Swinski, who struck out in the first, comes back to the dish. The first pitch is inside.
The next 1-0 pitch is down and away. Now it goes to 2-0. Two balls, no strikes, no outs. Watches this first strike of the at-bat go by. Two one. Pitch downstairs. Marcus Swinsky, class of 2025, digs in for the 3 1. And he takes it off the inside corner and he'll head to first base. First runner comes on as he works a walk. And Coach Bioni comes out to the rubber. And let's see if it's a pitch meeting or if Crawford's day has concluded. And he takes the baseball from him. Sully Wiswell will come in and take over pitching duties for the Highlands Bluebirds. And as Wiswell warms up, I'll take a break. We're back live. Sully Wiswell on the mound, getting things going for his first varsity appearance of the year at Crawford's line as he goes out two and two-thirds. As it stands, two earned runs, though the one on first is his. Firing down second, and Drew Barth got him. Drew Barth comes up huge, eliminating that run. Swinsky gets caught trying to swipe the bag, and I will take a break again. The birds are coming to bat and hopefully use this momentum to get a couple of runs.
Zach Bracken digs in, and we are ready to start the bottom of the third inning of play. He watches the first one go by. O one 1 is the count, and he swings and waves at the 0-1 fastball. Now it's 0-2. Bracken, Schwalbach, then top of the lineup as Bracken goes swinging at a pitch in the dirt. But he will, he's safe at first base. He'll get on via the drop third strike. Peeper thought he had tagged him. But Bracken gets on via the drop third strike. Now Nolan Schwalbach comes to the dish. He steps in. Now, big secondary lead from Barth, or for, excuse me, from Bracken. 0-1. Nobody away. Bracken on first. Top of the lineup behind Schwalbach. Now back pick over to Bracken. 2-0. The Colonels still have the lead. Highlands hasn't threatened. They've had one base runner today, and that was Brody Banky in the top of the second, or bottom of the second, excuse me. Bracken still on first, getting a big, now he goes backwards. Had some good space. See him getting a few more steps. A one count. Bracken still on first. The lefty looks him back, now goes to the plate. Schwalbach a little behind on the fastball, and it's 0-2. 0-2, nobody away. Wagner looks him back, now goes to the plate. Upstairs, Schwabach hesitated and wisely held back. One, two, Wagner now goes to the dish. Schwabach watches a close one go by. Five at batch. Schwalbach has yet to record a hit. The pitch down and in. Now the count runs full. He has worked a walk and is two and two in stolen bases this year. Three two. Swung on and fouled backwards behind on the fastball. Wagner comes set, full count. Now the delivery, swung on and hit over our heads in foul ground. Three balls, two strikes, no activity in the Covenant Catholic bullpen yet. Two nothing, Cubcath stools the lead. Here's the pitch, in there. Schwabog hesitated and it's a called strike three. Now batting number 11, Callum McAtee. That'll be a backwards K. McAtee digs in. He grounded out 5-3 last time after a good play by Swinsky deep in the hole. Now O.L. immediately fouls the first pitch back. McAtee attacks the first pitch. One away in the inning. Here's the pitch. Swung on right up the middle. Reared in. Can't get full control of it. And instead of a double play, they'll get nothing. He'll reach safely on the E6. Bracken now moves to second. That could be the play. Now Adam Fortin. And he's got some pop in the bat. Opportunity for the junior to possibly make an impact. First pitch is swung on, and it's through the hole. Swinsky can't get there. Bracken goes home. Both runners stay, and the birds are on the board. One swing of the bat, all it takes, and the speedy Zach Bracken makes it home. 
Fortin is on first, McAtee on second, a big spot for Adam Fortin as he collects his second base hit of the year. And now a meeting in the middle of the field. And it's Bracken at home, it looks like. Bracken at home, who appears to be injured. And he dove in. back. It appeared that Zach Bracken has hurt his shoulder as he's diving headfirst into home on his way in on the run. Drew Barth now comes to the dish. Now batting for Hiram, the he had a deep fly out to left field. Seems kind of be the story of his season so far and he drills one into left field. Callum Mack gets on his horse. He'll go home and the birds have tied it up. Back-to-back -back hits. Back-to-back -back RBI singles moves Fortin to second. That was a great secondary lead by Callum McAtee. And now Brody Banky comes up to the dish. Wagner steps off to collect himself, but it's tied. Both of those hits, first by Fortin. And then by... Barth will result in two RBIs. Robinson will come on to be the courtesy runner, Drew Barth. <laughs> 0 and 1 is the count. Here's the pitch. And it's skied very high. Finky in pursuit. It'll go out. Robinson, number four. O2 count, one away in the inning. Brody Bangy comes to the plate. Looking for a second hit today, sixth on the season. Here's the pitch. Downstairs, and now it's one and two. Bangy has yet to walk this season. The pitch, sky backwards. He did have the opening day walk-off grand slam. One, two, one away. Wagner kicks and deals. Fastball right in there. Backwards K in the line of Brody Banky. And that brings up number 32, Luke Schneider. Now two in the inning, Robinson on first, Fortin on second. Wagner fires in, a big first pitch swing from Luke Schneider. Two balls, two strike, or two two is the score, I apologize. It is not two balls, two strikes, it is 0 and 1. And another big cut from Schneider. That's the lively fastball. With that movement, it can be tough to fully track it all the way in. And it's 0-2. Here's the pitch. Another fastball. Looked close. Called a ball by home plate umpire Dante Martin. 
One, two, two away. Here's the pitch, both runners in motion. Ball can't be corralled in by Unkraut, and both runners will take second and third with easily stolen base for Robinson and stolen base for Fortin. Now two runners in scoring position, two balls, two strikes, two away, and now a big opportunity with the speedy Robinson on second. A single could score him. Upstairs. Three balls, two strikes, two away. The pitch, swing and a miss. Schneider goes down on strikes for the second time today. And coming to Catholic will come to bat in the top of the fourth. Sully Wiswell on the mound as Parker McKinley, the DH, will lead off for the Covenant Catholic Colonels. He would walk and get to third in the first inning as his first pitch is in the dirt. 1-0 is the count. The pitch swung on and skied into no man's land. Fortin calls the play and he makes the catch. Tough play for the shortstop, Adam Fortin, but he's able to haul it in. And the top of the fourth starts with an F6 as Sully Wiswell gets back on the rubber. Here, Ben McAvoy, he grounded out 5-3 in the first inning. Wiswell's first pitch, close, called a ball. Back on the rubber. First, first batter of Wiswell's day was as that next pitch is chopped to Fortin. He fires over to first, and the ball goes away. McAvoy will head to. I mean, knocked an E6 on the line. Courtesy of our expert scorecard keeper, Wes Caldwell, in the press box. Now here's number 21, Luke Peeper. But Drew Barth, as I was saying, had a big play the, on Wiswell's first batter. He's put away on Swinsky as he was caught stealing. Now Peeper watches the first one. It'll go upstairs. Two-two is the score. And now one and one is the count, one away in the inning. One away in the inning, here's Wiswell. Downstairs. Two O's the count. Two one, close but called a ball. 
Now three balls, one strike, one away. It's two twos to score as Wiswell back on the mound. On first is McAvoy. He got on by the E6. And Wiswell walks Peeper. He'll head to first. And McAv Ben McAvoy heads to second. Peeper now living on first base. Uncrowd, the catcher, comes to the plate. And it'll be a player meeting at home plate. And a new hitter comes in. It'll be number 22 for the Covenant Catholic Colonels. He will pinch hit for Uncrout. That'll be number 22, Jackson Kramer. He digs in for his first at bat of the day. Swings and cranks the first pitch into left field. Bottom in pursuit. Makes the back pedaling grab. And there's two away. Jackson Kramer gets sat down, F7. And Brian Finke now at the plate. Finke doubled in the second, but was later thrown out at home by Nolan Schwalbach as he attempted to score. OO count, two away in the inning. Was well, comes set. Brian Finke fouls one back. O oh one, two runners on. Wiswell comes set from the stretch. Now fires one, look like a slider downstairs. One one count. Two away in the inning. I'll not at two as we're in the top of the fourth. Up and away. Two one. Two balls, one strike on Finky. One for one on his day. Wiswell comes set as Finky chops it. Foul. Finky with the ability to bunt, and Highlands is on high notice of the small ball from Covcath, as that was a big time point pregame. What Coach Bryony was talking to his players about. He said, always be ready. He said, Finky's one of their biggest threats, but Coach Crumpleback will pull that out from anyone in their lineup. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Big opportunity for Highlands to get out of this one. With two runners on, one of them being in scoring position. Two two. Wiswell comes set from the stretch, fires home, and it's swung on and missed. Wiswell gets a big strikeout. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Highlands will come to bat.
First pitch is in for a ball. 1-0 is the count as De Silva works his way in. He flew out deep to the left fielder last time. Next one's swung on and missed for a strike knocked on the line. Bottom on deck, and then we will find out who the substitute for Bracken is, as that one's cranked deep in the left field. And it's called a fair ball, fair ball. As that one's hit down the line, Zach De Silva strolls into second with a double. And that'll bring up Cam Bottom. Looked like it hit the line. Cam Bottom digs in after striking out his last time up. Now runner in scoring position, nobody away. Cam Bottom shows bunt, pulls back, and it's ball. One zero. Wagner looks back. Now fires home. Bottom goes to bunt, keeps it around. Couldn't pull back. One one. One one count. Nobody away. Corners creeping in. Time is called. One ball, one strike, nobody away. Wagner comes set, the southpaw looks at second base, now fires at the plate. Bottom takes the inside pitch, still no movement for Kovkath in the bullpen. Two one, bottom goes to punt again, just try to poke at it. 2-2. Two, two. Two, two is the count now. As Wagner comes back set. Now fires at the plate. And it's swung on deep into right field. McAvoy in pursuit. And it's off the base of the wall. De Silva will stop at 30. Goes through the sign. De Silva goes through the sign. Now with the plate. And he's safe. Bottom goes to third. Zach De Silva ran through. And he goes home. De Silva ran home. Bottom moves to third. Big time play. And now it looks like Eli Bolden is at the dish. Number 14 will come in. And there's a call to the bullpen, it looks like. Coach Krumpelbeck will head out to the mound. We'll see if it's just a visit. But Highlands come into play. Eli Bolden now digs in. Digging in to try to take advantage of the runner on third now. Watches the first pitch fastball go by. Bolden's got one knock on his line this year and three at bats. Next pitch is in there right at the knees. Bolden steps back in. Bottom on third. Checks the swing, called a ball. Nobody away in the inning. Bottom on third. Wagner 
Now the pitch is outside again, and it's three and one. Three one. Infield plays in. Bolden watches it go by, and it's ball four. First and third, nobody away. As Nolan Schwalbach with a big opportunity. Schwalbach's got speed. This is a guy you could bunt with. Schwalbach, now time is called as he walks out of the plate. And Coach Krumpelbeck looks like he calls on Marcus Swinsky to take over the pitching duties as I'll step aside. Eli Wagner leaves two runners on, and Highlands has the lead 3-2 as Marcus Swinsky is set to warm up. And we're back as Marcus Swinsky, who was previously playing third base, now comes to the pitcher's mound, and he throws in a first pitch fastball. Trollock digs back in, 0-1 is the count. Runner on the corners. Schwabach watches the next one go by. Next, Schwabach digs back into the plate. It'll be a one and one count. Next pitch looked like a fastball is in there for a called strike. One, two, here's the pitch. Fastball looked close, called a ball. Alex Yeskovich heads over to third. The same substitution in the same order as they did Saturday as Bolden gets a hefty secondary lead. Now 
counts. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody away. Big spot for Nolan Schwalbach to get his first RBI of the season. 2-2. Two -two. Schwalbach watches it go by. Now it's full. 3-2. I'd expect to see it at the least Eli Bolden take a big secondary lead here. Birds are able to steal on Uncrowd behind the plate earlier. Ball four, and Schwalbach takes his base. And the bases are now loaded as Bolden heads to second base. Schwalbach heads to first, and Callum McAtee. McAtee was on via the error his last time up. Swinski gets on the mound, nods his head in approval of the sign. Pitch is sky deep into left field. It's up. And it is very deep and very foul. That ball was hammered well into left field and well beyond the left field shed that's out there. That ball was crushed. That's fair. That has a chance of being well gone. 0 oh, 1. And he crushes one right at the third baseman, Yeskovich. He throws home, gets the force out. Unfortunate baseball. And a heads-up play by Yeskovich. Fielder's choice as McAtee heads to first. Bolden moves to third. Schwabach heads to second. Bottom was the one who was caught on the force out. That's right back to Swinski and back-to-back -back fielder's choices, and this one's a double play. Unfortunate baseball for the Highlands Bluebirds as back-to-back -back balls go right to infield players. Swinski, Unkraut to Peeper. The very common one, two, three double play. Top of the lineup up for the Covenant Catholic Colonels as Charlie Deeriff would have doubled his last time up. Well, head into the dish. Sully Wiswell back on the mound. Had a good fourth inning of work. There's Charlie Deeriff as he watches the first one go by. As the first batter of the game, he was plunked. And would head to first base and later score. Next pitch is swung on and misses it in the dirt. Deeriff went deep twice in the first matchup against Highlands. 1-1. One, one. Here's the pitch. Swung on and cranked into left field. Bottom in pursuit, and it's going to be trouble. He slides, can't fully grasp it. Now bottom throws into second. It's a good throw, but 
the speedy Charlie Deereff will begin the fifth inning with a stand-up double. And a two-bagger for Charlie Deereff, his second double of the game, and that brings up Vince DiTomasio. He's playing left field today. He popped out in foul ground to Drew Barth. A very impressive catch, his last time up. The first pitch of the at bat. Any action? Three two is your score. Highlands has the advantage. One O's the count. Runner in scoring position. Di Tomasio right at Fortin. Fortin now goes to third with it. Banky can't corral it. And both runners will be safe. In that case, I probably would have just gone straight to first, get the sure out. But it'll be a fielder's choice for Di Tommaso. Now runners to the corners on the E5. Jackson Reardon will now step up to the dish. He walked in the first inning, and then he lined out on a absolutely crushed line drive to Brody Banky. 3-2 is your score. First pitch curveball from Wiswell. Oh, one after the first pitch was in there. Wiswell, not the hardest thrower, but makes up with that with location. As he lobs one over to first base. No movement over there on third from Deeriff. Di Tomasio goes back sliding. 0-1 count. Nobody away. Wiswell delivers. And a wise hold from Jackson Reardon. 1-1 one, one is the score. Was well from the stretch. Gets the sign. Now comes set. And fires. Big swing and a miss from Jackson Reardon. Playing shortstop today. Di Tomasio on first. Charlie Deeriff on third. Lobbing throw back over to Schneider. We'll get anywhere. Nobody away in the inning. Strikeout would be huge, opening up the double play to end the inning. Here's the pitch. Down and away, now two and two. Was well back from the stretch. Grips his pitch. Now fires home. And it's swung on and hitting a foul ground. Looks like I had hit Coach Crumple back over there on the third baseline. Two balls, two strikes. Balls hit hard over there at the third base coaching box. And here's the pitch. Swung on and drilled the opposite way. Bolden can't make the play, and a run comes home to score. Wiswell gives up his first run of the game, and it comes on a Jackson Reardon base hit. And we're tied at three. Marcus Swinski. He is pitching. Comes up to the dish. Hitless today, 0 for 1 with a walk. Caught stealing in the third. Runner on second, runner on first. 
Here's the pitch. Look like a curveball downstairs that caught the zone. Oh, one is the count. Wiswell on the mound. Here's the pitch. Comes set. Looks back the runner. At the knees and called a strike. Oh, and two. The corners shade in a little bit. Oh, two. Here's the offering. Good off-speed pitch, looked close. Wiswell thought it was a strike. The press box thought it was a strike. One ball, two strikes, nobody away. 3-3, three, three, nodded in the score. Now here's the pitch, down and away, 2-2. Two, two. Goes back and communicates with Adam Fortin, who's playing shortstop. Schneider now backs up, no longer shading in. Coven Catholic has not laid down a bunt yet today. And it's chopped right back at Wiswell. Tough play, now turns around and it's an infield single. As Di Tomasio stumbles on the bag, looks like he's all right, but an infield single as Brody Banky was not covering the bag on the force out at third, which it looked like that's the direction that Wiswell was heading. And that's an infield single as the bases are juiced up. Di Tomasio takes third, Reardon takes second. And Marcus Swinski is at first. Coach Brownie now comes out for a mound visit. Back after the mound visit. All knotted at three. Nobody out. Bases are loaded. Islands could really use what happened to them. As that one is lined into left field. Bottom makes the jumping play. And what a great defensive play by Highlands. Exactly what the doctor ordered. McKinley lined it right at him. And now it's Ben McAvoy coming to the dish. Avoiding the top of the lineup is huge, especially when you look at the idea of the long ball. Deeriff, who's leading off, is the only one who has knocked one for the Covenant Catholic Colonels this season. And he has two, both were against Highlands. One away. Wiswell's first pitch fastball. In there for a called strike, 0-1. Tied at three, one away. Now the double play ball ends the inning. And gets Highlands out of here unscathed. Bases loaded, nobody out. 0-1. Now down and away. 1-1. One, one, one away. One one. Here's the pitch. Downstairs, called a ball. Looks like Barth tried to frame that one up. Two one is the count. Next pitch is called a strike. Now it's two balls, two strikes.
2-2, one away. Big spot for a strikeout if he can get it. Here's the pitch. Close, right at the letters, called a ball. Here's a big spot, 3-2, one away. Bases are loaded. I think just here, you keep it simple, throw the fastball. That's what it is, and he grounds one right at Banky. Banky fires it home, Barth catches it in a big spot. Big takeaway from Highlands. Now there's two away, and it's going to require a base hit for Highlands to get out of the inning. Or a base hit from coming to Catholic to walk away with a run here before the inning is over. So number 40 now digs in. That's Bradley Ziegel, who digs in. He had one at bat against Highlands last Saturday. He would strike out. And now grounds one right to Bolden. Bolden flips it to Fortin, and bases loaded. Nobody out. The Highlands Bluebirds get out of it. Call it 4-6 the put out. And Sully Wiswell gets out of a big spot. Highland's coming to bat, and we're tied at three. Drew Barth comes to the plate. And we're ready to get things going. Highland's looking to break this tie and get back on top with the lead. Drew Barth comes to the dish. He had a single that would get a ribby. Last inning ended with a 1-2-3 double play. One out, Barth fouls one backwards. One, one is the count for Drew Barth. Four hits this season, one, one. Up and in, almost hit Barth. Dugout thinks he should have wore it. Swinski on the mound. The pitch, now downstairs, three and one. Three balls, one strike, nobody away with a three-hole hitter. And it's downstairs. And Barth gets on via the base on balls. 
It's the second time he's walked this season. Jake Robinson comes on to courtesy run. Robinson and Swinski on the same summer baseball team. That's the Tropics. Adam Ford and Sully Wiswell also on that team as well. Garrett Wiggins, another Highlands guy. Nobody away. Now back pick over to Robinson. Tied at three. Bottom of the fifth. Swinski. Now fires home. And it's drilled deep into center field. Deeriff underneath it, and he makes the catch. Brody Banky with a long out as number 32. Luke Schneider comes to the dish. Schneider digs in with two strikeouts to his line today. Robinson still on first for Barth. One away and pick off over to Robinson. Robinson gets about four or five steps roughly off first base. Swinski, the offering home, is away. One and oh is the count. One out, one o oh is the count. Another pickoff towards Robinson. One o oh is the count. Three three is your score. Here's the pitch, and it's big swing and a miss by Luke Schneider. Swinski. Now comes set, looks back, Robinson. Gets his sign. Robinson takes off and a pop up straight in the air. Robinson's got to go back. Foul ball and it's out of play. Swinski in one appearance. That was in the one game against Highlands. He Went two innings, one hit, no runs, one walk, and a strikeout to his line in 28 pitches. One, two, one away in the inning. Robinson, big lead, won't go this time, and the ball gets by him. Robinson now will take second on the wild pitch. Schneider at the plate, still 2-2. Two -two. Swinski now digs in again. One away in the inning. Here's the pitch, and it's swung on and missed. Schneider gets sat down on strikes for the third time today. And that'll bring up number 33, Zach De Silva. He got a double his last time up. He later score. Two away. No one's holding on Robinson at second. And he watches the first pitch fastball go by. Two away in the inning. 0-1 is the count. Tylens has not scored in this bottom half of the inning. Now downstairs. Now Robinson tried to take third, and he does. Great read by Robinson. And now the go-ahead run is 90 feet away. Now here's a big spot for Zach De Silva. As he digs in. One and one, two way in the inning. Watches one go by, looked a little low, but Called a strike at the knees. 
And now that was called a strike. You got to expand the zone here. Two strikes. Chokes up on the bat. One, two, two away. The pitch. Swung on and missed. Highland strikes out two batters in a row, and it remains tied as we go into the top of the sixth inning. It's getting good it's in Highland Park. We're back live on T Film and Broadcast as Callum McAtee takes the mound for Highlands. First pitch is a ball. McAtee did not pitch last year. Hasn't pitched this year either. It's his first appearance. Now it's upstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. Two oh. Here's McAtee's pitch. In there, big swing from number 15, Uncrout, the catcher. He struck out looking last time up. Swing and a miss. And now it's two and two. First batter of the inning, 2-2. Two -two. McAtee back on the mound. The pitch, swung on and missed. Big strikeout from Callum McAtee to start his day. Now Brian Finke, the second baseman, comes to the dish. Finke, one for two on his day, struck out in the fourth, doubled in the second. He would be picked off at the home plate by a great throw by Nolan Schwabach as he squares to bunt. one -0. Upstairs. Now 2-0 with one away in the inning. Here's the pitch, up and out. Now 3-0. A lot of speed from Finky here. Hate to walk him. And a fastball is right there for the 3-0 strike. Finky manufactures runs very well. Here's the 3-1. 
and is swung on. Hit high into right center field. Schwabach into Silva in pursuit. Schwabach calls off to Silva, and he makes the grab. Call it F8 in the book. And that'll bring up Charlie Deereff. Two away. And Charlie Deereff, number three, he doubled his last time up in the fifth. He doubled in the second inning as well, keeping his electric season alive. Two and two on the day. He was hitting the first. Between the Jackson Reardon and Charlie Deereff. That's three hits right there and both of them have gotten on either by a hit by a pitch or a walk. Open base, walk isn't the end of the world. 2-0, two, -oh, two away. Fastball right there, called a strike by home plate umpire Donche Martin. 2-1 the count, now two away in the inning. 3-3 is the score as the next one's upstairs. Now it's 3-1. and one. Three, one the score. 3-1 the count. Now it's ball four. 3-3 three, three is the score with two away. The walk is in the end of the world. You get the bat out of Deer's hands. Now Vince DiTomaso comes to the plate with two away in the inning. Struck out in the first, popped out to Barth and foul ground in the third. Reached on the fielder's choice and got to third in the fifth. That's when Hyland's last inning was really able to get out of that bases loaded, nobody out. And you may look back at that one as the moment Hyland's avoided losing at the end of that one. That could have been detrimental. But it's 2-0, and oh, the count. Two-way in the inning. Upstairs, and it's now 3-0. and oh. That has been Highland's number one issue, it seems, as this young season continues on. It too many balls thrown, as that's another base on balls. Charlie Deereff now moves to second. And DiTomaso heads to first. Now that brings up the heavy hitter, Jackson Reardon, as Drew Barth calls time, and we'll talk to his pitcher. Coach Bione will come onto the, onto the mound. And it's a mound visit from Coach Bione. Two-way in the inning. Two-way in the inning. Here's the first pitch after the mound visit, and he spikes it into the dirt. Now 1-0 and is the count. Two O is the K. 
count. Highlands and Covcath are tied at three. Now that one finally in there for a strike. Two and one. Really got to be careful pitching to Reardon here. Two and one. Two away in the inning. The pitch swung on and drilled into left field. Bottom in pursuit, and it is well over his head. One run comes home to score. A second will move as well. Reardon stops at second base. And a two-run double will give Covington Catholic the 5-3 lead. Runner comes over to score on the pass ball. 1-0 now is the count. And the runner to put him up three is 90 feet away. That one skied into deep right center field. Schwalbach back at the wall, and it is gone. Marcus Swinski sends one over the right center field fence, and it's a two-run shot giving Covington Catholic the 7-3 lead over the Highlands Bluebirds. McAtee was playing with the fastball and you can only let that location slide for so long until these kernels will burn you with it. Two down, nobody on for, at tied three to three. Now it's a seven three ball game. And now he base hit again for the Colonels. Mac, uh, that's Parker McKinley gets on via the single in the right field. And the Bluebirds now facing a real big uphill battle as Ben McAvoy comes to the plate and they're down four. Action in the Covington Catholic bullpen as first pitch swing into Silva tracing back to the wall and he makes the grab sending McAvoy down in one pitch. Unfortunate inning for the Highlands Bluebirds as they give up four. But the Birds are coming to bat to attempt to answer in the bottom of the sixth. And we're back on FT Film and Broadcast, bringing you live baseball action of the Highlands Bluebirds. As they're trying to answer after a four-run 
sixth inning. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Bottom watches it go by. Oh, two. Nobody away in the inning. Trying to make some noise, being the first batter up. Bottom had a big time double his last time up. First looked like it was close on that fastball, but one two the count. Swinsky now lines one up the middle. Great driving play by Reardon. And he gets it over. Great scoop by Peeper. 6 4 the put out. Unbelievable play by Jackson Reardon. The University of Cincinnati commit. Excuse me, that was Ziegel over there at first base with the scoop. Now one away as Eli Bolden comes to the dish. He watches the first one go by and holds his bat. Two and zero now the count. One away in the inning. Two zero is the count for Eli Bolden. Watches the fastball go by, and that'll be the first strike of the at bat. One away in the inning. Two one. Swinsky. Drives in a fastball that's called a strike. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Kovkath up 7-3. Here's Swinsky. And it's chopped after Bolden's ball gets over that glove of Yeskovich at third. The press box rules it an E5 as Eli Bolden And a new batter coming in. That's Ian Carner coming in to hit for Nolan Schwalbach. Carner had a great day on Tuesday, including a double. Ian Carner, number 15, digs into the box. One out. Swinsky's first pitch to Carner is fouled straight back. One away, I imagine Swinsky's going to try to work at the knees, try to induce a ground ball. Likely, Schwalbach will re-enter back into center field. Carner watches the next pitch go by, and it's 0-2. Oh, 2 one away. Here's the pitch, and up and away. Now it's one and two, Carner. One away, one, two, Swinsky approves of the sign, now gives the pitch. Right there, called strike three on Carner, and there's two away. That is Highland's seventh strikeout of the day. And that'll bring up Callum McAtee. He's pitching currently as Swinsky steps off. Two away in the inning. 7 3 is the score. 0 0 count. McAtee looking to do some damage. He attacks the first pitch as often, and he does right there. Unfortunately, it was right to Jackson Reardon, who makes that play every time. 6-3 the put away. And now we head to the seventh inning, where Covenant Catholic coming to bat.
We have a new pitcher for the Highlands Bluebirds, and it's number five, Cody Foreman. Foreman comes in as Highlands' fourth pitcher today. Day started off with Xander Crawford going two and two-thirds, striking out four and giving up two runs as Foreman's first pitch gets fouled straight back. Oh, one the count. Foreman got in one time last year, went one and two-thirds, struck out two and walked two. 0-1. One one now is the count as Foreman gets back on the hill. He faces the bottom three of the order, going with Ziegel and Unkraut and Finky. Next pitch is a strike. Now it's one two. Foreman gets a sign from the full. Kicks, delivers, and is downstairs. Looks like he went for change up. Two balls, two strikes, nobody away. Here's the pitch, and it's grounded right at Adam Ford. He makes the grab and fires it over to first. Luke Schneider hauls it in and call it 6-3. Highlands gets a successful put away. Now it's George Unkraut. That first pitch is grounded right at Brody Bank. He's got a good arm, but can't field it. This is, I believe, Banky's first game starting at third. Errors in the field in general today have cost the Bluebirds a couple of runs and opportunity. Now it's seven to three, the score. One away in the inning. Now, at the now coming up to bat, number 19, Brian Finke. Finke, his last time up, flew out deep to the center fielder, Nolan Schwabach, as he chops this one right over to Eli Bolden. Bolden going for one. He gives it over to Schneider. Close play, and he's safe. Called safe. Coach Bainey looks like he may ask for an appeal as he goes out to the mound. Now talk with Greg Whelan out near the pitcher's mound. Two runners on, one in scoring position. Now coming up is number three, Charlie Deeriff, and now you get to the dangerous part of the Highlands lineup, or of the Covington Catholic lineup, excuse me, with Deeriff, Ditomasio, Reardon, Swinski. One away in the inning, two runners on. Now it's Deeriff at the plate. Deeriff swinging that 2021-2022 D. Marie the Goods bat. Well, well regarded as one of the better bats, metal wise with some great pop in it. Square to butt. No dice on the butt. Zero oh and one is the count after he offered. O one one count, one away. 7-3 is the score as Foreman's next offering is in there. 
called strike. O2 count. One away. Big opportunity for a double play if they can get the ground ball. O2. Runners with big leads, no holding on. Ball goes in the dirt. That's one and two. It's just past 7 10, which means the tip off for the University of Kentucky basketball game is underway. They face the Oakland Grizzlies of the Horizon League, the same conference the Northern Kentucky University Norse are in. One ball, two strikes. Foreman fires in the pitch. Down and away, two and two. One away in the inning. Here in the top of the seventh. That one's grounded right up the middle. Bolden's got it. He gets the out at second. Fires over to first and safe. Now runners are on the corners, but there are two away. Bolden, Bolden wisely tagged the bag as Deereth gets on first base on the fielder's choice. Finky will head back to the dugout. And a local college basketball, the University of Dayton, the Flyers got the win. Good for my bracket, had them advancing. As Vince DiTomaso comes up to the plate. Got on via the walk in the sixth. Got on the fielder's choice in the fifth. One L. Two away. Next one's downstairs, two, one and one. Two outs in the top of the seventh. Next pitch in there for a called strike. Then it's one and two. Cody Foreman with a chance to get out of this inning with no runs. Two way in the inning. Foreman with a big opportunity to get out of this one. Now over to Banky. Banky fires a rocket over to first base, and that'll do it for the top of the seventh. Five three the put out. The birds have one more opportunity to try to get a, some runs to win this ball game. Adam Fortin digs in, and we're set to go for the final act 
of this game. Fortin watches the first one go by. Watches the first one go by. It's 0-1. Highlands has the unfortunate distinction of having the stat of more strikeouts than hits. Seven strikeouts, five hits for the Birds, and down and away, Fortin watches the next one go by. Two one. Here's the pitch, and it's lined foul. Two balls, two strikes, nobody away for Adam Fortin. Swemski gets back on the rubber. Nobody away. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit right up the middle, right to Reardon. Not the guy you want to hit that to. And he makes that play every time. Fortin retired on the ground, and it'll be 6-3. In the last five putaways, putouts for Covenant Catholic, Three of them have been from Reardon to Ziegel at first. Drew Barth now digging in. First pitch, hacking over to Yeskovich. He fires over to Ziegel, and he's there for an infield single. In infield single for Drew Barth. Would have been a tough play for Yeskovich over at third. With one away, Brody Banky comes to the dish. Banky steps up to the plate. One for three today. Got a single in the second. Struck out looking in the third and flew out to the center fielder. Heavy Deereth in the fifth. Robinson comes into courtesy run, as he has for Drew Barth all game. Now 1-0. One away in the inning. 2-0 is the count for Brody Banky. The pitch is swung on and missed, high fastball. Two on the count, one away in the inning. Robinson gets a healthy lead off of first. Swinski stares down the batter. Now fires in the pitch, it's tipped right back up at Banky. Banky committed for Football, Middle Tennessee. <laughs> two two is the count, one away in the inning. Swinsky, the pitch, and he swung on, fouled it back. Two balls, two strikes. One away in the inning is Becky. Felt that last pitch back. Digs back into the box. The pitch just off the plate. Three balls, two strikes, one away. Robinson in first. Three, two. Swinsky back picks over to Robinson. One away. Banky digs back in. Swinsky now looks him down. Here's the pitch. Swung on foul. Full count. 
One away. Swinski stares down the batter. Now gives the pitch. Banky rips one right at the second baseman. There's one out. Didn't go to second for the double play. Finky made the catch. Robinson moves up to second. Luke Schneider now digs in. He is looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero. He has struck it out three times today. Two away, and he skies it up into the air. Finky looks over, says let it go. It's out of play. Oh, one count, two away. Now 7-3 is the score. Oh, one is the count. Schneider digs back in, watches the next one go by. Oh, two, two away, Highland's last strike. Here's Swinski. Looks back, Robinson. Lifts the leg. That delivers. Fouls it back. Oh, two. Oh, two is the count. Here's the pitch. Just outside. One ball, two strikes, two away. Once again, comes down to the last strike of the game for Highlands. 7-3 is the score. Here's the pitch to Schneider. Now two balls, two strikes, two outs. If you're into superstitions, get the hat rolling on this one. Swinski. Looks at, the looks at the sign, nods in agreement, lifts his leg, now fires home, and it's downstairs. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Highlands still maintaining with their last strike of the game in the balance. Two away. Swinski, the pitch. Skied into left field. Di Tomasio underneath of it, can of corn, and that's the ball game. The Covington Catholic Colonels get the win over the Highlands Bluebirds 7-3 for Brennan Bucher for Highlands Baseball. Thank you all for tuning in. Next Monday, we're right back here, FT Film and Broadcast, Highlands Baseball at home. The Birds go on the road Saturday to Trinity to face Bexley and Trinity at Trinity. I will catch you all Monday for the next home game. Thank you very much.